If you are a high-speed internet user with Time Warner, you may have to monitor your computer habits. The flat rate you pay in San Antonio and Austin could disappear by summer. The company is looking at a new pricing structure. Joe Conger joins us live to explain. Joe? Sarah, take a look at this. A music download, that's about, oh, three megabytes. If you want to rent a movie, you're looking at about eight gigabytes. And how about sharing some videos with friends? Well, it all takes up space, so get ready. Your broadband bill may take a bite out of your wallet. To have to pay more for downloading stuff, we're already paying 50 bucks a month. is pretty ridiculous. Julian Johnson is part of the Internet generation. The UTSA student is one of many worried about Time Warner's plan to base its broadband consumption on gigabytes. YouTube, downloading songs on iTunes for the iPod, you're already paying for the music, then to download the music is just an additional cost. He shakes his head because by summer, Time Warner plans to charge consumers a rate based on their Internet use. Online gaming, movie and music downloads, all that heavy data coming into your computer will have a limit. Go over the limit and you'll pay extra. It could add up pretty quick if you're watching Netflix videos online. Like I said, that's going to that's gonna add up if, you know, anything you do online is going to start counting up. The new pricing is similar to a mobile phone plan where overages occur for extra minutes. Time Warner says their new billing will alleviate some of the strain on the broadband system. But critics say it will change users' behavior and put a crimp on online businesses. Students say they often spend more time on the Internet than on television, and they don't look forward to curbing their appetite. I'm on it like right now. I sent a friend um, a message through Facebook, so, so I'm on it a lot. So in those cases, Wi-Fi places like where that student was may be the place to go this summer if you got a big download. Now, as for the pricing changes taking effect, that's anyone's guess when that's going to happen. Time Warner says they're still collecting usage data right now. We are live. Joe Conger, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.